Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to find out which is larger, 1.05 or 1.01 .01 to the power of 5. OK, to do this we're going to utilise the expansion of a plus b to the power of 5, where a equals 1 and b equals 0 0.01. But first, in order to do this, we're going to need to know what the expansion of a plus b to the power of 5 is. And this is how I'd do it. I'd start with a to the 5, and then write down a to the 4, a to the 3, a to the 2, and a. And then do the b's in reverse order. So it's b to the 5, b to the 4 b to the 3, b to the 2, and b. These are all additions. And now we need to find the coefficients. And to do this, I'm going to utilise Pascal's triangle. And if you haven't seen this before, it looks like this. We start with a 1, and we have zeros either side. We then go to the next line and sum the two numbers above. So this becomes 1 and this becomes 1. And then we continue doing this on each subsequent line. So again we get 1, this becomes 2, this becomes 1. Then we get 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And finally... 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. And that's Pascal's triangle. And it's great because if we have a binomial raised to the fifth power, we can go down to the line that contains a 5 as the second number, and that row gives us all our coefficients, which we just need to write in above. So this is our 1, this is our 5, this is a 10. This is a 10, this is a 5, and this is a 1. And now is all we have to do is evaluate this, which with the numbers we've got is a lot easier than it looks. So we said at the beginning that A is going to equal 1, and B is going to equal 0.01. So our first term, which is A to the 5, is just 1. To the power of 5. The next term is 5 lots of 1 to the power of 4 multiplied by 0 0.01 to the power of 1. Now if we keep track of these as we go along this equals 1 and this equals 0 0.05. So adding these together we're only on the second term and we're already at 1.05. So we're already equal to the number that we're comparing this to. And since we have more terms to come and they're all positive, we can already say that this is the largest. But just for completeness, I'll do the next term because there's something interesting I want to show you. So the next row is 10, 1 to the power of 3, 0 0.01 squared and that gives 0 0.0010. Now can you see here that each coefficient is simply being multiplied by another power of 100? This means that the final result of this expansion is going to be 1.05 0501. So all our coefficients in the expansion appear in the answer in order. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you found that interesting. See you tomorrow.